All right, I'm changing the oil on my 1993 Honda Helix. You need a 17 millimeter wrench. The screwdrivers are for the body panel up here. You need 4T 10W40 weight oil, four cycle motorcycle oil. And to refill it is uh, 0.8 liters or 0.84 US quarts. Right there, 27 fluid ounces equals almost 8.8 uh, .8 liters. Make it a little bit easier. You need a funnel. The screwdrivers are for removal of the uh, body panel. You don't have to take it off. I just took it off for ease of the video. All right. I used this wrench already to loosen these up a little bit. Honda has a built-in uh, indicator on when you need to change your oil. It's about every thousand miles. I'll show that to you as soon as we're done doing this. So it hasn't even been in there that long and it's pretty black. I was having a problem with the um, exhaust. There's a little donut that goes inside the exhaust and that fell out. So my engine was running a little dirtier. I'm going to replace that here as soon as I'm done with the oil. Alright, there's a spring, big side goes in towards the, uh, the uh, wire filter, it's just like an old Volkswagen Beetle, it's great, you don't need to buy filters and throw them away, we can just keep on reusing this one. The only reason I have a Q-tip here is I like checking it to see if to see there's any uh, little filings on there. Let's see if there's anything else weird in there. It's nice and clean. All right, I'm gonna give the bike a little fuel. And then I'm going to step on the starter and give it one little crank. All right, I'll be here all day trying to get the last half an ounce out. Just going to speed this up, clean that off. There's a rubber gasket in there. Make sure that's back there. There's also a washer that goes on here. Make sure that's still on there. what the inside looks like. I 
I'm sure your mechanic doesn't go through this big extreme wiping the inside out. They probably just pop the plug off and dump the oil out. But I like to be thorough. All right, I'll put this back in. All right, the big end of the spring goes against your building shoulder. And just a little bit of resistance. Make sure it stays nice and tight in there. Tell you what, this bike's 16 years old and I don't have any oil leaks. 22,000 miles on it. As far as I understand, they're all built pretty well. That's why they made them for over 20 years. Now there's a clone called the Q-Link 250 commuter. Basically the same thing as far as I can tell from their website. Just now it's made in Taiwan instead of Japan. Right, you're supposed to use 20 pounds of torque for that. Of course I didn't measure it. Tighten that up. This oil is about $10 a quart, so I recommend Taking some precaution and using a filter. Dumping this over the place. It's pretty expensive. I like using fully synthetic oil. Conventional motor oil, when you turn off the engine, it all drips back down to the bottom of the pan. The synthetic motor oil, it leaves a film on the inside of the uh, piston wall. So it gives you a little bit of lube right before it starts it up. It's not a completely cold start like with conventional motor oil. And the only reason I'm using Mobile One, it's readily available. I can get an advanced auto or AutoZone for under ten dollars. Or if I go to the dealership I can buy a Honda brand or some other foreign brand for twenty dollars. So price I use mobile one plus I use mobile one for um, the wet clutch on the other side. It's three way protection and they also recommend the same oil for the wet clutch on the other side. Alright That's simple. When you check your motor oil, you're not supposed to screw it back in. You're just supposed to unscrew it, wipe it, and just place it just like that. Then you check it. And it's, you know, throw it way up to the top. Because I pre-measured this before I shot the video. Alright, that's it. And please give me any comments or questions. I'll help you out as much as I can. Thank you all.